I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. If you were given a magic wand and you could change anything about yourself that would improve your financial and emotional well-being, what would it be? I, th I think this is a relatively hard question. Maybe not. It's not about changing your financial circumstances, right? It's uh, not about, okay, if I won the lottery or I inherited a fortune, but about changing yourself. And that would be beliefs, behaviors, thoughts, emotions. That could ultimately change your financial situation. What would you change? Would you change the way that you react under financial pressure? Maybe the way you spend? or the decisions that you make? Almost all of us could find some ingrained behavior or difficult emotion that we'd like to modify, improve, or transform in ways that would impact our finances. So it stops us. Transformation is a big deal. It's not for the faint of heart. According to Victoria Erickson, author of The Edge of Wonder, she said, transformation isn't sweet and bright. It's a dark and murky, painful pushing, an unraveling of the untruths you've carried in your body, a practice in facing your own created demons, a complete uprooting before becoming. Ooh, that doesn't sound like something where we all go running to experience it, right? Um, her framing of transformation doesn't sound like something most of us really want to sign up for. It feels easier to continue to bear the familiar pain of the present rather than risk the pain of changing to something that's totally unfamiliar to us. We typically only undertake transformation when the importance of changing can no longer be denied, can no longer be avoided, or swept under the rug. Now, probably no example of transformation is more well known this time of year than that of Ebenezer Scrooge and Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Within this popular Christmas fable lie some profound truths. Uh, truths that we can learn about the path to transformation. The first is the principle that we usually don't undergo a transformation willingly. Scrooge had no intention of embarking on a transformational journey that Christmas Eve night. He went home, he locked his doors, he tended his meager fire, ate his tasteless bowl of gruel, and went to bed. His routine, though, was interrupted by an intervention by the ghost of his old friend and business partner, Jacob Marley, who gave him a dire warning that he needed to do things differently in his life or his end would not be pleasant. Marley told Scrooge that he'd tried to get his attention for many years but for some reason this year, Scrooge saw and heard him. You know, this is how interventions typically work. Often people in our lives try to wake us up, to warn us of the potential negative consequences of attitudes and behaviors. Yet we are usually oblivious to and dismissive of their warnings, especially those closest to us, until one day, we hear them or someone else saying the same thing. The key to transformation that Marley gave Scrooge, visit your past so you can clearly see what's in your present so you can create a different future outcome. Now, visiting the past requires a lot of courage. As Erickson said, it is that dark and murky place that unraveling of untruths and complete uprooting. This is the place of becoming willing to revisit the events 
of the past in our lives where our strongly held delusions were so concretely formed. Scrooge resisted this step. He tried his best to skip over it. Yet his guide, the ghost of Christmas past, gently turned him toward his past, bringing objectivity and understanding to entrenched financial delusions is not easy. Many people want to focus instead on obtaining more information on how to save, how to invest, how to spend wisely. We try our best to jump into the present without visiting the past. Yet what we need most for transformation is emotional awareness and intelligence, which can't be learned academically, from books, or developed by one's self. It's got to be learned emotionally, experientially, and in community. So, the good news is Scrooge found a guide in the ghost of Christmas past. Someone today can find assistance from financial advisors or financial therapists. This is a journey that rarely can be taken alone. Thanks for listening.